עליי את מצוות הבורא ואהבת לרעך כמוך. Here I am, prepared to take upon myself the mitzvah of my Creator. Vahavta l'reyacha kamocha, and you shall love your fellow person as yourself. Shalom, everyone. This Shabbat brings us to a double parsha, Acharemot and Kedoshim. My remarks as we head into our Torah reading emphasize Parshat Kedoshim, which is a powerful wake-up call to holiness. Kedoshim to you. Be Kadosh. Be holy. In the introduction to my book, Path of Blessings, I wrote, Twice in Torah, our people hear this command, Be Kadosh, be holy, be sacred beings. Our people's entire spiritual endeavor, all of Torah, all of the laws, all of the praise, all of the songs, all of the prayers, the blessings, the sacrifices can be seen as a response to that call. Be sacred beings, be kadosh. Our quest is to discern what that means. How can we be kadosh? We hear in Mishle, in Proverbs, the words of Shlomo HaMelech, King Solomon. In each of your ways, know God. We wonder, how can we accomplish this? Our ways are the ways of human beings who live in the world. We wake up, we go to sleep, we drink, we wash, we work, we buy, we sell, we play, we pray, we have relationships, we do laundry. We take care of our children and our parents. Know the source of holiness in all of our ways. Bring Kedusha, the sacred, into every aspect of our lives. It might seem like an impossible challenge. And yet, for each of us, there are times when a sense of the sacred actually seems within our reach. We all have moments in which we are jolted out of our self-constricting mental habits, when we let go of self-conscious judgments. In these moments, we can feel refreshingly open, clear, complete, our, our mental clutter and confusions fall away. And we remember with great joy our oneness with all that is. In Hebrew, this gentle attunement is called mochin de gadlut, literally big mind or expanded consciousness. Moments in which our hearts 
open to awe, wonder, infinite possibility. When we see the sacred dimension all around us, in Mochin de Gadlut, we feel our connectedness with all that there is, every moment, a miracle unfolding. In Hasidus, this transparency to the presence of the divine in everyone and in everything is linked to the experience of holiness. Rabbi Avraham Yehoshua Heschel writes of this. In these short teachings on the connection between this transparency to the presence of the divine, awe, wonder, holiness. The beginning of awe, he says, is wonder. Awe and wonder bring us to a sense of the holy, enabling us to perceive in the world intimations of the divine. A moment of awe is a moment of self-consecration. Kiddoshim to you, be kadosh. We can live our awe, live our radical amazement in the gift of living. We can see intimations of the divine in everyone and everything. The Parsha continues. And then, love your fellow person as yourself. The connection? Well, perhaps practical Kedusha, holiness in living, finds its ultimate expression in this mitzvah. Love your fellow person as you love yourself. I am Hashem. I am the one source. Oops. Not so easy. For starters, there are obstacles to loving ourselves. The primary obstacle, all our judgments. We rarely remember that this mitzvah includes the phrase, Ani Hashem, I am the breath of life, your God and guide, meaning who loves you we sing the song. We are loved, loved, loved. We are loved by an unending love. We sing the song, but we don't necessarily believe it. However, we navigate our own inadequacies. It's rare that we avoid projecting our judgments onto others around us. Sometimes we love our fellow person as we love ourselves equally deficiently. Then we are in what Hasidus calls mochin de katnut, constricted consciousness. Yet, intimations of the divine are all around us. We are reminded that awe and wonder are there for us all the time, along with love. When we reconnect with awe and wonder, we share in the wonder. We are reminded that even in our imperfections, even as we work hard to be our best selves, we are each an expression of the divine unfolding and deserve to love and be loved. We can, we must see that in ourselves and in one another. The ahavta l'reyacha kamocha. 
with compassion and kindness, with awe and wonder. We can hold ourselves, each other, and our whole world in the light of mochin de gadlut, expanded consciousness. Ve'ahavta l'reyacha kamocha. And together, moment by moment, in our willingness to love and be loved for the miracles that we are, we can taste holiness. Shabbat Shalom, beautiful friends. When we call our group Aliyah as our Torah service unfolds, we will invite you to rise in your place if you wish to honor and affirm some particular way in which you are called right now to refine your commitment to the Kedusha, to the holiness of loving and being loved. We enter the gate of Torah. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonenu Kadoshimo Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonenu Kadoshimo Gadol Adonaiti Uniramema Shemo Yahda We read again this Shabbat from the exquisite 300-year-old Sephardi scroll that Jack's father rescued in late 1941 from Nazi-occupied Paris. Inviting to this collective aliyah today. Anyone who is viewing, anyone who is watching, Please rise in your place if you wish to honor and affirm some particular way in which you feel yourself called right now to refine your commitment to the Kedusha, to the holiness of the Havdalarecha Kamocha, of loving and being loved. Ve'yazor ve'agen ve'oshir al-achol ha'chosim bo ve'nomar amen Ha'kol havu godel l'eloheinu u'tnu chavod la'torah ya'amdu la'torah Everyone rise who wishes. 
Барушено танто раля мой Исруэл, биг душа то. Ве атем хадвейким бадунай лехем, хай кулехем хайом. Барху эт Адонай хамворах. Барух Адонай хамворах леолам ваэл. Барух Адонай хамворах леолам ваэл. Барух ата Адонай элохейну мелеха олам. Ашер бахар бану ябару врацан. Венаталану эта рато. Барух Адонай нотейт хатора. Vai da ber Adonai el Moshe le mor da ber el kol adat ben Yisrael ve Marta lehem kedoshim tiu ki kadosh ani Adonai el vechem ish imo ve aviv tira u ve shabto tai tishmoru ani Adonai. Elohechem. Now Adonai speaks through Moshe, saying, "Now tell all witnessing congregations of the children of Israel, saying to them, 'Become kadosh, because I, ani Adonai Elohechem, I am kadosh. Always hold your parents in the highest respect. Always keep my Shabbat because my Shabbat will keep you. I say this, I Adonai Eloichem. The path to holiness leads through relationships. Now, when you are harvesting your fields, don't harvest all the way to the corners of the fields. Leave some behind for the poor. When you are harvesting from your vineyard, don't clear every grape off the vine. Don't pick up the falls. This is the the way I tell you, I Adonai Eloichem, to share what you have, because that's why I gave it to you. You may not steal. You may not cheat. You may always tell the truth. Never fall into lying. Don't you dare swear something that is not true in my name. It will poison your relationship with everything. Do not oppress the other. If you have paid for day labor to be done. Pay the labor on the day that the work is done. Don't hold on till the money, even till the next morning. Lok te kalel cheresh v'lifne iver lo tite mirshol v'yareta melohecha ani adonai. Don't insult the deaf who can't hear you. Don't put a stumbling block in front of the blind that they can't see. Always be aware that I, Adonai, am present. Don't play games with judgment. Always be even-handed in all your judgments. Lo tisapene dal v'lo tedar bene pene gadol bet sedek tishpot amitecha. Don't give extra favoritism to either the poor or the rich. Always be even-handed when you judge your people. Lo teleh rachil. Don't be a talebearer spreading gossip. Don't stand by the suffering of your fellow, because I say this: Ani Adonai, lo tisna et achicha bilevavecha. Don't hate the other in your heart. And if they do something wrong, do not hesitate to upbraid them. 
because this is an act of love. Otherwise, you will share in the responsibility for their wrong acts. There will be strangers and foreigners and migrants who will live among you. The foreigner, the migrant, the homeless wanderer who comes into your land, you will treat them as equals in your land. You may not repress them or cause them suffering of any kind. I say this, Ani Adonai Eloichem, because remember, you were once foreigners and migrants in Mitzrayim, and you know how it feels. Equal weights. Never put your thumb on the scales. Equal judgments with everybody. I say this, that you may follow my rules and my directives, my judgments. To do them, to follow the path of becoming Kodesh. Ushmartem et kol chukotai vet kol mishpatai vaasitem otam ani adonai. Baruch ata adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher natan lanu Torah emet v'chaye olam ata betochenu baruch ata Adonai noten haTorah. May the Holy One of Blessing, who blesses each one of us with the path towards holiness, to love and be loved. That we might love our fellow person as ourselves. May that one who blesses us bless each one who has stood today to honor God, to honor Shabbos, to honor Torah. With awe, wonder, and those moments of self-consecration of expanded consciousness, mokhin de gadlut, that link us to the experience of holiness and the flow of the divine. And for all these blessings we say, Amen. 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 As the scroll remains open, we offer prayers for healing, inviting everyone who wishes likewise to rise and reach your hands, reach your hands to one another, reach your hands towards this beautiful scroll. As we call out the ancient words that Moshe Rabbeinu called out when Miriam, his sister, was stricken, Ana el na rafan Allah, please God, please heal. And she was healed. We ask in particular, of course, for healing for all of those impacted by the pandemic virus and for all of the heroic healthcare workers who daily risk their lives to save life. May everyone who is even a touch of ill breathe easily and deeply, be whole and healed. Ana el na rafan Allah, please God, please heal. Ana el na rafan Allah, Ana Oh, 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 oh,
a healing of spirit so needed at this time a healing of body so needed at this time for each one of us and for all of those whom we hold in our hearts we remain standing as the scroll is lifted Israel, Israel, Torah, 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 Hallelujah. Torah, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Torah, 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 Hallelujah. Torah, Torah, Torah. Shalom, for wholeness, completion, fulfillment, perfection, holiness, love, and being loved. Prayers for shalom, we hold in our hearts. Our prayers for peace, that there will be shalom aleinu, for us and for the whole world. O Jabo Shalom Aleinu, 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 Oh, yeah. 
For at this time, a Kaddish Yatom and Mourner's Kaddish, inviting all who are perhaps in a time of mourning or observing a yard site or who have taken upon yourselves the custom of offering a Mourner's Kaddish in behalf of all of those who have perished with no one to say Kaddish for them to rise into a Kaddish Yatom at this time. Yitgadal v'yitgadash me'i rabo v'yomad ivrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei b'chayechon u'v'yomechon u'v'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael b'agala v'zman kari v'imru amen yehesh me'i rabo m'orach לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה, יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שומר וקודשה מריחו לאלה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה תושבחתה ונחמתה דמירן בעלמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיה היא תעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל ואמרו אמן. May the maker of shalom, of wholeness, completion, fulfillment, and peace in the highest of the heights. Help us walk a path of shalom. May we each become the shalom. May we each become the holiness that we seek. Shabbat shalom, beautiful friends. How shall we close our Torah service? This morning. Ah. Two songs. Ah, Shabbat Shalom.